Got some breaking news for you. I was wondering why Monero was getting hit so hard on the charts. Right now we're looking at down 12%. Well, guess what? Another one bites the dust. Bitrix to delist privacy coins Monero, Dash, and Zcash. Woo! Hey, guess what? I got a breaking news flash for everybody out here. Uh, they're privacy coins. So most people that are on uh, Bitrix that already did the KYC, you don't want to be buying those anyway. Totally different reason. So uh, I don't. I actually think this is pretty much a non-starter as far as news. Uh, quite frankly, let's look at the, the volume too. Let's, I'm just curious what the volume looks like. This isn't the first time Monero has been attacked before because of government scrutiny and exchanges threatening this. I think the only thing Bitrix is going to be successful in is losing revenue. Uh, come on now. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. I don't see a ton of volume today. Oh, where are we at? Oh, wow. Weird. Most of your volume came right around here. I don't see a ton of volume here. So, super big news. Let's let's go into it. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because, of course, this is going to happen. So it's it announced today that it's delisting Monero, Zcash, and Dash. A continuing trend of privacy coins being delisted by cryptocurrency exchanges. This is awesome. It's only going to make cryptocurrency. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard not to laugh because you think about it. Um, the reason why you would own this in the first place is to stay private. So there's nothing more private than keeping your stuff off of an exchange. And I used to joke around with people a long time ago. I said, you know, there's going to be two groups in the crypto space here pretty soon. Those that actually own their crypto and have it in their hands and those that think they own it and don't get any of the benefits of, you know, loaning it out and doing all this other stuff with it. And this kind of news is making it very very much more obvious and just so you know all this is is more of a coordinated attack on the crypto space as a whole to give you an idea um look the whole uh what is it um ripple deal right now that is a straight up coordinated attack you know it's a coordinated attack when uh someone in an exchange decides hey i'm gonna go into work on december uh 25th and on Christmas Day, I'm going to put out a publication or a, a breaking news, you know, whatever, and say, hey, we're delisting this token. You know that just does not happen, okay? These are planned attacks. And if anybody's watching, which I'm sure most of you guys are watching the XRP debacle, badonk, badonk, debacle unfold, you know that there's way more to this. Uh, XRP didn't do any, or Ripple didn't do anything crazy. They're trying to make something that is awesome and make something that is true and fair through the banking system. And there's some people that really don't want it. There's a lot of people that do want it. But uh, the dollar's losing its uh, hold on its supremacy of the, the world's reserve currency being the dollar. And, I mean, shoot, the dollar's losing value so fast, it's it's mind-blowing. And I, I believe there's going to be a dead cat bounce. You know, but I think we just hit 88 on the, the USDT chart. And I'm telling you, it's going to rebound probably in the month of January. And then I say, look out below. And if you look at what's happening with this, you know, this is just the first wave. You're going to probably see more of them uh, because you're going to start seeing news stories in the next week of of government regulation regulators um, saying, you know, calling for other exchanges to do what, you know, Bittrex has done because they, they got. They're so smart. No, they're not. They're going to start losing uh, revenue because <laughs> people are going to say, screw you, Bitrix. We're leaving and going somewhere else. Um, here it says, while Bitrix gave no reason for the removals, exchanges around the world have been moving to delist coins that seek to preserve the privacy of their users as a way to be compliant with know your customer and anti-money laundering regulations that are spreading around the world. Look, guys, if you don't have a third party, I mean, a cold wallet, like a, uh, a Trezor or a Ledger, you need to go buy one now because I'm going to tell I'm going to here's my January 2021 prediction. <laughs> you are going to see the biggest move of people to buy hardware wallets that you've ever seen. And I've already lived through a few times where there's no Trezors, there's no Ledgers on, on the market, right? <laughs> you better go buy one now and start learning how to use it. Get your stuff off the exchanges. <laughs> Learn about decentralized exchanges. I mean, seriously, no, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing, but it's this is so easy to figure out, guys. Learn about it right now. 
uh, in all uh, fairness, guys, I'm buying the dip. Um, I have a much lower, not a much lower price on my Monero purchase, but um, I am, I do have some buy orders in. I am going to enjoy this dip. Uh, it could dip lo lower, uh, considering if uh, some more, um, what's it called, uh, exchanges jump on board and want to help out with let's do let's do good. It's like come on. Uh, Monero started making its business by selling things like Monero. I mean Bitrix. Bitrix got big, and so now they're just afraid of the uh, the big bad United States government. So anyway, guys, I hope this <laughs> brought some 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 laughter to you hopefully you're giggling alongside side with me but uh yeah interesting news exciting watch more of this coming out i don't think you're gonna see uh monero get monkey hammered too bad remember all this happened in 2018 as well so all right guys hope you're having a great day we'll talk to you later